Vancouver in the playoffs again against Calgary, who they haven't played in the playoffs since 2004, which is what, like 12 years now? Yep. And what I found was funny was the fact that instead of like it being the California trip that's scary, LA at the end of the year comes to the West Coast trip of Vancouver, Oilers, and uh, Calgary goes home not going to the playoffs. Well, and it's funny that this year uh, everybody's been talking about, you know, the Pacific Division being a powerhouse with all these California teams, and only one California team ends up making it in the end in the Ducks, <coughs> and uh, San Jose and LA both underachieved this year. So yeah, it's the Central that's the scary division this year. Yeah. Um, so Canucks haven't ended the year yet, but they have forty-seven Ws, twenty-nine losses, five overtime losses, so ninety-nine points, which will clinch the playoff spot now. Calgary to beat them, and it's okay. I'm gonna like go through the um, rosters. I'm hoping to start for uh, the first round of the playoffs. Okay. Sedin and Burroughs up top. Although depending on Cassidy's doing, maybe throw Cass up there. We'll see. And then I doubt he's gonna start this way, but I'm hoping Barracky Zanino and Zabata can at least come aligned because I think it's a good mix of like talent, skill, and a bit of speed. Yeah. And I think for Bata is the player we want Barracky to turn into, in a way. He's got a lot of similar attributes to play a similar style. Yep. And then, uh, for, we don't really have, I guess, a fourth line. We have two third lines, basically, on this team. So, Matthias Richardson and Kassin, Jimmy Richardson and uh, Matthias are healthy. Since I know Matthias isn't even playing in the game today. He's not? No, he didn't. So, I'm not sure if it's Maybe precautionary, it but... Or he's just getting a rest. I know he didn't play the other game either, but we get to see Berkey at least. Yeah, so. that's good. And I mean, well, you know, if, you know, Birch is gonna want to uh, light up his old team too. Oh, I know. How how mad is gonna fucking Bert gonna be on a scale of one to Tortorella and Barry or Berkey that Barry's an empty netter or not an empty netter, but overtime netter? Yeah, well, <laughs> Birch's gonna be the one storming uh, Vancouver's <laughs> dressing room after that happens. And apparently, uh, one of the statistics I heard was that uh, the last time Calgary and Vancouver, uh, all of the times that Vancouver and Calgary have met each other in the playoffs, the winner of that series has gone on to at least the Stanley Cup final. And it's been game sevens every time, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be a six or seven game series. Yep. Gonna be, no, it's Calgary, be a tough one. they'll put up a fight both ways. Uh, I mean, we'll see. It's going to be a tough series. Uh, what I want to happen is that we got to shut down fucking... <coughs> Goudreau so that <laughs> we don't hear about fucking that Mr. <coughs> or not Mr. Hockey, but Johnny Hockey anymore. I'm getting yeah. tired of hearing that fucking huge Calgary fan. Well, Mark Stone uh, tied him up in oh, yeah, rookie, yeah, fucking rookie th scoring today, yeah, so at least Goudreau's not going to win the title. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's been scoring clutch goals all the way down the last half of the season. Stone? Uh, yeah, Stone oh, scored yeah. like two goals the game before, and now he scored one of the goals in the game that got them clinched into the playoffs today. And then Overtime winners, I mean... And then Kids fucking got it. the hamburger. <coughs> so tell me a bit of a story about like when you actually played with him. <coughs> is it pause? Like Pardon? Is it pause? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we played together in, uh, I guess, in the PIJHL or whatever when he was in Grandview Steelers. And I played for the Rosemount Flames. And um, I mean, he was big at the time. He was good, but I didn't think, you know at the time that he was going to be an NHL goalie, but obviously he worked on his game a lot and the kids got heart and came into a, a system that needed... Was he undrafted? He was undrafted. Yeah. Came into a system that needed a goalie and, uh, I mean, at the time, at least, like, Craig Anderson and and uh, Robin Leonard were out. Um, you know, they were joking around the day that Clark McCarthy was the real savior of the season because he... Uh, he took out Robin Leonard. It was him that injured him in practice or, or whenever it happened. And that's the reason why they called up the Hamburglar. And, yeah. and he was a third stringer at the time? History's then? been made since. No, he was playing somewhere down the East Coast Hockey League or something. He oh, fuck. So that's like that's he, pulling he, up Canada <coughs> or something. Kind yeah, of he was there. an emergency backup call-up, basically. Yeah. And then he played a game, and they won, and they just kept rolling with him. So... Mm. So, how about the emergence of fucking Weber? He seems like he could potentially be our replacement for Sala. Like, well, Weber's always had a good shot, but, yeah. I mean, size is not on his side, obviously, so we'll see how he does we in the We need the, the bigger, like, an Edler, him and Edler on the point at the power play would be 
Well, uh, he could be a power play specialist, but yeah. I mean, at the same time, playoff hockey's coming around. We'll see how he takes the physical yeah, play. He, he definitely has been out muscled, but he uh, he has been a lot smarter recently in terms of like staying back a little bit more, so that he doesn't have to work on like back checking against forwards that are much bigger than him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, he's he's a good skater and he's got a a wicked shot. Yeah. I was at the uh, Colorado game where he went uh, posted in there. Started the third, the rocket of a shot down the right wing. Nice to see. Oh, and uh, Lance Boma. I don't know if you heard. I think in the game today, actually, he fucking broke his hand. So he's four out for weeks. four weeks. Yep. Yeah. It's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think he'd say it, but well, Giordano's then right. too. So sorry, Boma. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. And another thing, uh, a lot of people were doubting them, but Sadin. They're not scoring a game, but they probably never will be. But they got the seventy point plateau again, both of them, and uh, it's more than anybody expected. The Sedins really, are the really proud of the Sedins are the Sedins. The only reason yeah. why they had an off year last year the is because Cordell. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, just took away their system and or took away their system, their freedom a little bit, and it's gonna happen. I mean, you put Sidney Crosby with Tortorella's system, he's not gonna score as many points as he does either. You know, so. Yeah, well, Tortorella, he's playing a hockey style that worked 10 years ago, but it's irrelevant in today's game. Exactly. He's still trying to force it. Exactly. Do you think he'll ever coach in the league again? Who knows? I mean... I, I think he's going to get an AHL job before he gets another NHL job. He but, could. Yeah. I mean, part of it's the antics that come along with Tortorella. I mean, <laughs> he likes to be the center of attention and, and, uh, and cause a fuss behind the podium, so... I mean, all he's doing is drawing attention to himself, and really the attention should be drawn towards his team. So. Mm -hmm, exactly. He just doesn't want to get it. And uh, with Taurus, uh, he actually has done a decent job of cleaning up his act, but like that that gong show in Calgary, even uh, maybe he had a decent reason, but still, like that was a ridiculous showing that he was trying to charge down to the Maple Leafs fans in 2008. Yeah, for sure. And you know what's funny? Uh, I don't know if you heard, but Ryan Miller's playing tonight too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think that's a good time to get him, like at least a game before the playoffs. But I don't, I don't want him starting the playoffs. Like, no, Eddie no. Uh, Eddie will start the playoffs. I yeah. mean, but um, no, it's good that they're gonna get him in a game here and get a little bit of rust off him in case he does need to go in. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen in the playoffs, and it's good to have everyone fresh. So. Yeah. <coughs> and they, the <coughs> Calgary fucking answered Bearchy by calling up Bennett. <laughs> Seen that? I watched him play today. <laughs> Time to call up the Canada and <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a statistic that kind of worries me. I just uh, bumped into the other day. It's the fact that Matthias, although he's played better this like the middle to the end of half of the year, he only has seven points in forty nine games played against the West. And you'd think he was built for the West with his <coughs> like body, right? But he only really uses his body effectively when he's going at the net. He's not great along the boards. He's not the most like actively hitting the player so. right but he's been in the east his whole career so i mean maybe that's yeah, yeah, he could just kind of develop or get accustomed to that tighter four checking game like, possibly or i mean uh, well that and the fact that you know there's tendencies of teams that go in the east a little more and can uh you know expose certain